Joining me now, the director of the public policy program at Roosevelt House Institute of Hunter College and former executive director of the New York State Democratic Party, Basil Smichel. You know, from the very beginning, from the time that, um, and I was on the air when she came out and she was officially named his vice presidential nominee, there's on one hand excitement, on the other hand, concern about racism, mm -hmm. about sexism, and the confluence of the two. With Drew Barrymore, she just tried to kind of turn that into I don't know, a, a teaching moment, right? right? But are there some more troubling issues at play, do you think? And does her being out so much at least tell you how Joe Biden is answering them? Well, it's interesting because I've talked a lot about it and written about how she is the administration's secret weapon. Because of uh, because she's an African-American woman um, who's act also the, the, the child of Indian-American immigrants, that there is an intersectionality that she brings to these debates that you're not going to really get anywhere else. So the fact that she's going out to all these different states and all these different cities talking about reproductive rights, all the things that she can talk about, she is uniquely qualified to do that. Now, having said that, I remember my days working for Hillary Clinton when she was criticized in the Senate, when she was criticized for everything from her laugh to the fact that people, you know, said she wore pantsuits too much. So there, I've been, I've for firsthand experience hearing the misogyny and the sexism be directed toward women in positions of power. But again, that's where uh, Shirley Chisholm and Hillary Clinton walked so Kamala Harris can run and do the work that she's doing to be able to tackle these issues head on, uh, but also turn it to the advantage of the party as she, as I said, goes out and starts energizing communities and talking about these very issues. And she's clearly expanding her portfolio, sure. right, for the campaign, because the abortion was something that she's been doing for months and months and months now. Now they have this economic opportunity tour. We know that this is hurting Joe Biden in the Hispanic community. We know it's hurting Joe Biden among young black men. What is it that she can bring to this that he can't? Well, I mean, first and foremost, she brings a youth and a vigor that he he is now obviously joking about. So there's that. But, you know, she can do in many ways what when you talk about what she can do that a president can't, she can go to Tennessee after those the two state legislators were expelled to be able to talk about the importance of having them sit in their office and the issues that they brought to the table. So in some ways, you know, while the president's got to stay on sort of this broad message, she's going to be able to go into communities, even invite people down to D.C. to have these smaller conversations with them about this is our these are our marching orders going forward these are the ways we need to start talking about the issues now go out and do this work so that the sort of intimacy that she can have with constituents that the president can't because he's president of the United States is going to be very valuable in the long run we know the uh, youth vote is very important and, and we've been obviously covering not just today but for for a long time now the uh, unrest on some college campuses uh, Morehouse a lot of students and faculty there are not happy that Joe Biden is going to be giving the commencement address. The school has said, we're not backing down. Mm -hmm. What are your conversations? I know you have a lot of folks you know who are at Morehouse. What are you hearing from there? And I was there a couple of weeks ago and talked to so many students about this. Look, if you really understand the Atlanta University Center, Morehouse, Spelman, Clark Atlanta, those are social justice institutions. Martin Luther King walked the, walked the campus at, at, at Morehouse. So what the students are saying is that with everything going on in the world, because of social media, just because also we understand more about the plight of black and brown people across the globe, don't want you to come down here as president of the United States and not address those issues. We want you to be able to lean into them in ways that are relevant to us, to those students. And look, they understand their, they understand the mission. It's important for them to get an agenda passed uh, and promoted for anyone that's running for president of the United States. But don't come down here and use the university as a platform without addressing the core issues. So if he can do that, he'll be welcome. But until then, they just want to make sure that he has that in mind should he decide to go. Basil Smichael, thank you. It's always good to see you, my friend.